welcome to another exciting adventure in our lives. I don't really have much to say today. Um, we're like <clears throat> in major debt right now. Well, there's no work up here, no jobs up here. But, um, I wanted to get the upper for the AR next month, but nope, we're going to have to spend the money on bills. And we just found out a friend of ours is losing his house. That's not good. And, um, we're looking for a ringer, wa ringer washer. Uh, he may know of one. He says he doesn't know if it works or not. He says it's just kind of been abandoned in the basement. So we don't know if we're going to get it, but we probably will. But I don't know if we're going to have to pay for it. But if we do, hopefully it won't cost too much. Especially if it doesn't work, we really don't want it. Because we can't fix it. But um, I want to tell you what I have on the Walmart my cart on Walmart. I have a fun rug, fun time, country fun, rectangular rug, multicolor. Excuse me. I wanted one that that has uh, like trails and stuff, dirt roads, trails, but that comes from another company. It doesn't come from Walmart, and the other company also ships it not Walmart, so you can't get it shipped to the store. If you get it shipped to the store, it doesn't cost, you know, there's no shipping charges. Sesame Street multi-bin to toy organizer, although Sesame Street's good, Winnie the Pooh would be even better. DEX baby, baby diaper and toiletries organizer, and a Mary Wood five shelf bookcase, multiple finishes, and I have espresso. I'd prefer a brown, but I mean this is like a dark brown, I guess. But for more of a medium or light, it doesn't mean we're going to get this stuff. It just means you want it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you should see my Amazon card. I think right now it's like three hundred bucks. Yeah, we haven't ordered from Amazon. We didn't order anything from Amazon this month. Um, we have money orders up here somewhere that we have to send in, and we need to send, uh, is it Pete? Is it Pete that's in jail? Uh, Adimo. Adimo, a friend of ours, uh, he's in jail for, um, uh, wiretapping charges, even though New Hampshire, just like Texas, and there are other states, I believe, as well, it's a one-party state, which means only one party has to be aware that it's be, that something was being recorded. But he wasn't hiding anything, you know. Uh, but it's the the state prosecutor. He just wants to be a horse's patook. Now we need to send him a letter to let him know, you know, we're thinking about him because you got to stand behind the men behind the wire. So. And my brother. Oh yeah, and Carolyn's brother, my brother-in-law is, oh, I've never said that before, brother-in-law, mm -hmm. is, um, it's his birthday, he will be 98 years old. No, he won't. Uh, he, he hears you say that, he might smack the fist out of you. And he's a big guy, I wouldn't want him to hit me, but, uh, we're gonna send him a, a little gift. Um, not, it's not like it's real expensive, but I think it's nice. You know, with two or three, four things. Yeah. yeah. And I won't say what it is, because, you know, it's possible, although unlikely, very unlikely, you'll see this, but, so I won't say what we're getting them, but. He's not a computer guy. Yeah. Um, even though he is the one who invented the computer, believe it or not. He is not. Um, so, um, I found another one of these in the bedroom. Best fire holder. I do want to get at least one outfit sooner rather than later. Uh, one thing I would like to get is some ammo next month. It's not that expensive. I can get 20 rounds for six bucks, or is it seven bucks? Mm -hmm. Six or seven bucks for the for the Mosin 
and it's a dollar cheaper for the same number of rounds for the AR. And I want to go ahead and, and get a little ammo at a time because I'm just afraid things are going to get bad really fast. And there been some new stuff coming out of uh, the White House about firearms, uh, restricting them, that is. But um, I'm tired. Oh, be quiet. I mean, I'm going to sleep and you won't sleep. So. Yeah. But, um, I know how you are. Yeah. And we, we had, yesterday we had enchiladas. But they were salty. I don't know why, but they were salty. Otherwise, it was pretty good. And then tonight we had chili rellenos. Some of the cheese kind of came out of both of the chilies. Um, I liked it. I mean, it's the, the rice wasn't necessarily what I'm used to. But I'm not used to cooking my own rice. You know, back in Texas, I went to a restaurant and I ate the rice there. And they moan enchiladas, but I ate, like, canned beans. We had canned refried beans. But I made the, the Spanish rice. I mean, it was okay. It's just not what I'm used to. I'm used to it not being as sticky, I guess. Um, and the chili rellenos... Well, it was okay. Oh, I made the, the, the ranchero sauce. So, uh, I think it's the best ranchero sauce I've made yet. I've never made it very good. This, like I said, is the best I've made yet. Um, I never follow recipes to the T. I always add or subtract or modify in some manner. But, um, um, what else did I want to say? I think that's it. I'd like to get some diapers next month, but again, that's probably not going to happen. It's 90% chance it's not going to happen. If not, 99.9% .9 chance it's not going to happen. I want to start getting some cloth diapers. Well, well, I can get a dozen. For, I think they're 36 by 36 for, was it 35 bucks? 30, 35 bucks? Something like that. And I have some like that somewhere around here. But then I have to get plastic pants. You know, and those aren't cheap. I think I have enough pacifiers for now. I don't know about maybe get sippy cups. Um... I'd like to make a high chair. I can probably figure out how to do it. But again, money has to go to the internet and to the cable and electric. We can only pay part of it this month, so... We don't want to be in the dark, either. Yeah. So, and we go mad without the internet. You know, last time we didn't have internet... Oh, for two weeks. Yeah, um... Uh, they they found me in the in the the bell tower of the town. No, they didn't. <laughs> and um, anyway, almost, almost. And um, so I don't know what else to say. I just wanted to make a video today. Oh, here's a poster. I'm gonna make some of these. Maybe like scan and copy or scan, you know. And I'm gonna put some around different places. Probably in Keene more than out, out here. And uh, can you? That that email is from my business from my business card email. Um, Wolf of the White Mountains. Uh, it it used to be my my regular email, but you know I had an episode and I I deleted it. <laughs> So now it's Wolf of, the, Wolf of the White Mountains, but with an S instead of no S. Um, I'd like to get the uh, speakers and mic and antenna for that right there. And we have that right there. Well, you better watch your computer, too. It's about to yeah. blow its stack. Um, the other day, or a few, maybe a week or two ago, I don't know, um, mommy was like, what smells or something, and my diaper leaked, and it got on the sheets, and she wasn't too happy about that, 
So that's one reason we need to get a ringer washer. Cause plus, we can do our, our clothes, our regular clothes in it. We don't have to worry about going to the laundromat. And we can put a... Well, yeah, that's what you did. Yeah, I got the bed wet. Really wet. Yeah. And um, we don't want that. Um... I don't have many diapers left, so I don't know what to do with the what are the medium sized ones? I don't know what to do with the medium size. Squeeze you into them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, I think you still fit. Yeah. They're they're tight, but oh well. I mean, it, I, it's not like I'm popping out of them. Or, as long as you don't squirm around too much. Yeah. I remember, and I was in high school. I was working. I, did, I had work study, and one of the first times I went and bought diapers myself, I went to the 7-Eleven, and was it you told them? I think it was 7-Eleven, and um, I bought a pack of baby diapers, Pampers, and I took them home and like I taped them together, you know, like overlap like that, and the first time I bought adult sized diapers was from a I lived in a in a relatively small town it was a, it was a farming community was a farming not anymore um, and um, there was this health store not really a drug store but you know health supply medical supply store and they were called go aheads and they were like the old-fashioned baby diapers, not like like Bambinos and ABU. They're they're really fancy and everything. They have tape on them and designs, but these weren't like that. They were, I think, white or blue. I think they may have been blue. They just had like one tape on each side. But um, anyway. Like the hospital things. Yeah. So oh, and we need to get something to put down on the bed, so when my diaper does leak. It doesn't get mommy wet, and it, you know, I mean, it kind of keeps it right there, and it soaks it up, and it doesn't get in the mattress, and so that's one reason for this. I just, we haven't opened it yet, so we don't know how strong or weak it is. Um, so I guess that's all I have to say. Anything else to say? Okay, so uh, bye-bye, everybody. Sorry for such a long video saying nothing.